from a day job, running fast from the way it was, jump quick to a paycheck. Hello you guys, welcome to a new video. So we're gonna do 10 healthy habits for the week. I've done this video twice before, so there's a part one, there's a part two, and this is gonna be the part three. They haven't done these 10 things consecutively for a while now, and since it's the new year, it's the perfect time to reset again and do these 10 healthy habits. And so yeah, I hope this motivates you guys to get on your grinds and incorporate more healthy habits into your lifestyle that make you feel good. Okay, so the first healthy habit that we're doing is every morning I'm waking up at 8 a.m. For me personally, waking up up at eight is just the perfect time. I've tried to wake up before and after and I like eight o'clock the most because it's still early enough where I feel like it's productive but it also gives me enough sleep. Second thing we're doing is not going on our phone in the morning. So I wanna do all my morning tasks before even looking at my phone. Obviously I have my alarm set on my phone, so I'm just gonna turn it off in the mornings, but that's about it. And not going on your phone in the morning makes the biggest difference, I swear. Third thing we're doing is making the bed every morning. They say that making the bed in every morning can change your whole day. And it's something that I sometimes skip doing. So I'm really excited to see how this makes me feel doing it every single day. Fourth thing we're doing is meditation every single day. I've been off my meditation game recently, so I'm really excited to incorporate this into my routine again. And meditation just makes me feel so at peace and calm. So we're gonna be doing that every day. Fifth thing we're doing is drinking two liters slash eight cups of water per day. That's something that I've been slacking on as well, is not drinking enough water and staying hydrated always just makes me feel good, makes my body feel good. Sixth thing that we're doing is incorporating movement every single day, whether that's a workout, yoga, a walk, like whatever it is, I just want to move my body in the day. Next thing we're doing is 20 minutes of cleaning every day. That doesn't include cleaning things like the kitchen because I have to clean those every day regardless, but making time to clean other things because in terms of cleaning, I always leave it for like the last minute until it like has to get done. So I feel like keeping up with cleaning like 20 minutes a day would make a big difference overall. Next thing is I'm gonna be journaling every single day. Journaling just makes me feel really good and it's a way that I stay off my phone in the morning. So instead of going on my phone right away, I'll just pick up a journal and start writing. Next thing is I'm gonna be reading every night before bed instead of going on my phone because going on your phone before bed honestly just doesn't really make me feel good. Instead of getting sucked into that wormhole, of social media at night. I feel like reading is so much more relaxing and peaceful and it can help you fall asleep faster as well. And then last thing I'm doing is I'm gonna be taking my daily vitamins every single day because that's something that I used to do all the time but I recently haven't been on the game with that. So that's the plan for this video. I hope you guys enjoy and let's get started. All the daily vitamins that I take I'm gonna go through each one quickly just to show you guys if you need any ideas so I take vitamin C every day these are just the chewable ones and they just taste really good so I love them that's why I got the chewable ones take magnesium just because it's really important to take this a lot of people are deficient in magnesium and then I take iron just because I think I have low iron levels just to keep that you know working 
And then I take Oasis Adaptogens. These are adaptogen supplements um, with like reishi, cordyceps, and they have a whole bunch of functional mushrooms, which are just good for your overall health, immunity, stress levels, etc. Then I take biotin, which is good for your hair, skin, and nails. And then I take omega-3s, which is just like fish oil, so I don't really know the exact benefits of this, I just know it's good. And then I take vitamin D3. And yeah, those are all the vitamins that I take. Vitamin D3 is especially good in the winter though. I take two in the winter because you're not getting any vitamin D without the sun. So yeah, and it's really good for your immunity too. So, But yeah, those are all the capsules I take. I split them into two parts. So I take half of them in the morning and then half of them at night. So for reading, I am starting um, this book called Kiss Her Once For Me. I'm really excited to start this. I've never read a Christmas book before. So yeah, just gonna start reading this tonight. It is 20 minutes of cleaning time and I have to do my laundry because it is so bad I always do this where I leave my laundry pile and pile and pile up just because I'm like eh, I'll do it tomorrow eh, I'll do it tomorrow and then I never do it tomorrow so that's what we're gonna be doing for our cleaning today and I'm actually really loving this 20 minute dedicated cleaning sessions because it forces me to take time out of my day to clean something 20 minutes isn't like a long time but it makes you get something done you know so it just feels so good and who knows like maybe when you start cleaning for 20 minutes it makes you want to do more so then you keep cleaning so we love that I've gotta do my laundry it is so full like literally jam-packed Okay, you guys, so taking the last of the vitamins tonight, or it's Tuesday, here we go. So I left for myself two magnesium pills, biotin, vitamin D3, and then the vitamin C. I love having the vitamin C last because it's so good. It's like a little dessert at the end of my meal, so let's swallow these pills. I also only like swallowing pills with like room temperature water. I can't do cold. So done. Now this treat and that wraps up today's weapons
so this is my second um thing of water i only need to drink three of these in the day to make two liters which is nice if you guys want to get on your water game i would suggest getting a water bottle or a cup or whatever it is that motivates you to drink your water get something easy like i honestly don't like drinking out of a water bottle when i'm home but i like using the starbucks cup when i'm home because it's just so easy and convenient to drink because you just literally have to sip out of a straw i just keep it with me throughout the day like when i'm editing i'll bring it to my desk and Whenever I do something, I always just bring it with me so that I have it beside me to remember to drink it. But the best tip, honestly, I can give you guys to drink it is just get a cute cup that motivates you to drink because it makes a world of a difference. Especially if you get like a bigger one, not just like a little glass because then you'll have to drink like eight of those. But if you get something big like this, you know that you only have to refill it a couple times in the day and then you got your whole water intake. So it makes it so much easier. And they also have like one of those cute water bottles that's like huge. And it has like timestamps on it so it's like 1 p.m 2 p.m 3 p.m and you have to like drink on those lines so that you can like finish it for the day those are really cute i know you can get them at amazon this honestly just works for me oh just having it with me throughout the day is really helpful also me and joel recently got a brita and now we have like filtered water to me filtered water tastes so much different than tap water it just tastes a lot more smooth and better and it like motivates me to drink it more but yeah still need to drink this one and then another one but it's only 145 so we're on track So I'm not only doing 20 minutes of cleaning today, but I literally cleaned the whole entire house. And that felt so good. It took me about like an hour and a half to two hours. Me and Joel did it together. And it just feels so good. Time for me to finish my vitamins. I did them in the morning. I almost forgot to do them tonight, but we're gonna finish them off. Also, this is my third refill of the day. So this is all I have left to drink, which is perfect. So I'm just gonna swallow my pills with it. I was thinking I still have to meditate, but then I remembered I meditated in the sauna. I don't see that meditation though. I forgot that I did it today because it felt like so long ago. I totally forgot to film it but i just had dinner and i just took the rest of my thursday vitamins so that is all checked off and yeah only one more day to go for the week five day week monday to friday that's what we're doing now i'm gonna go and meditate because i haven't done that yet then we read in bed okay so i completely forgot i was looking at my list of what i had to do today after i meditated and I realized I haven't done 20 minutes of cleaning today, but the kitchen is a mess because we cooked dinner and I wasn't going to clean it because I was lazy and I'm like, I'll just do it tomorrow. But I'm just gonna suck it up and clean it and that'll be my 20 minutes of cleaning for today. Just because yesterday I cleaned the whole house, so there's not really much to clean anyways. So since I wasn't gonna do it, this will count. I know I wasn't supposed to do this, like, because cleaning the kitchen like every day to do tasks doesn't really count for this cleaning session. But since our whole house is already so clean, may as well just clean the kitchen tonight and then that'll count for it. So let's do that.
but I'm gonna take the last ones now and then the week is done. <laughs> So after doing these 10 healthy habits for the week, I realized that they made me feel really good and productive. I would highly recommend trying some of these out if you're feeling like you want to incorporate more of a sense of routine into your life. This definitely started my new year off in the right way and I'm looking forward to continuing them throughout the year. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Run fast from a day job, running fast from the way it was. Jump quick to a paycheck, running back to the strip club. I'm never going back, never going back. No, you can't make.